Hi guys, so I'm out in the woods today to try out my new jungle hammock for the first time on an overnighter. Bugs are pretty horrendous, so thank God for that mosquito netting. Clear blue skies, so hopefully they shouldn't be in the rain, but I'll put the top in there just in case. So this is the site I've chosen to string up my hammock tonight. I've got two good sized trees, nice and strong. And no uh, widow makers above me. If you look at the, the top, where the top of the mosquito that is, it's all bunched together. And to try and solve that problem, what we can do is we can stretch a small branch in between the two anchor points where the elastic is, and that'll spread it out so it won't bunch up in your face as much. So, as it always is, just as I finished filming that last shot, it absolutely tipped down. Uh, so as you can see, through the top, quickly over the hammock, and then got under cover. Uh, good lesson for you there though, guys. Always get your top up first. And ordinarily I would do, but when I arrived it was 28 degrees Celsius with wonderful blue skies, and it just appeared out of nowhere. Now we've got some nice blue skies over in the northwest, and the clouds are moving in the right direction. So hopefully that'll be it for a while. Otherwise you're gonna be in for a very boring set of videos, I'm afraid. I had to get the top up though, just in case.
Now, as you can see here, I'm using the little trick that I learned from Terry Barney, Iowa Woodsman, which is for attaching the tarp to a ridge line, we loop the ridge line through the anchor on the tarp, and then we put a small stick through it. And what that does is it enables us to easily tighten and loosen our tarp. Now, unfortunately for me, my tarp is exactly the width of my two trees, so I can't get it as tight as I'd like, but it should still work pretty well. So the end of the tarp isn't quite centered above the hammock on this side, just because the space between the two trees is just a tiny bit too short. Another six inches and it would have been perfect. So I think what I'll be doing is sleeping with my head at that end, just in case it rains. As I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by the rain, is that one of the drawbacks to this design is that the mosquito net, as you can see at that end, tends to bunch up where it's all connected here. And one thing you can do to alleviate that is to cut a small branch and stretch it between the anchor points, like I've done here. Now, another problem with hanging a tarp and hammock in this configuration is that if the rain does come down onto the line here, it may slowly roll down and drip on top of my hammock, which would obviously not be desirable. So what I've done to hopefully alleviate this a little bit, I don't know how well it's gonna work or not, it's just tied some 550 onto the line, so that hopefully the rain will come down, hit the 550 and then run down the 550 instead. We'll see how well it works. today. kind of hope it actually does rain again tonight. Maybe then it'll cool down a bit. One important thing to remember when we're hammock camping is that we need to have some kind of insulation layer underneath our back, even on a warm day like today. So as you can see, I've got my thermarest in here. And one of the great features of this hammock is it has a separate layer. I don't know how you can see it. There's a separate layer of material which we can slide our sleeping pad underneath. And then we can just tuck it under the edge, like so. Now, I have been told that these do have a tendency to slip, and so a good thing to do is to put a strip of Velcro along the side. I haven't done that yet, so we'll see. If it's a real problem, then I'll definitely do that. I just put in my hybrid sleeping bag from Matt. I think the red contrasts quite nicely with the woodland camouflage, don't you think? Um, and that's it, the final setup. I'm sure it's going to rain tonight. So, I guess we'll see. This is my first real hang. Find out how well I did it, whether I get wet or not. Ooh, 
so the morning after it worked really well very very comfortable no slippage with the thermo rest which is nice it did rain a little bit overnight but kept nice and dry no problems with dripping at all my knots held huge bonus the, the webbing straps work really well around the tree i was thinking maybe that i need to go out and get some proper tree slings and some of those whoopy sling things to get things up in a, a speedier fashion but it seems to be working fine so I'll stick with the building stuff for now. Maybe if I use it quite a lot, then uh, I may do some upgrades. But mm, so far, I'm very happy with it. It's great. Thanks for watching. As always, any questions, queries, problems, feel free to drop me a line. Cheers.